Hey everyone, your boy Jan here, and uh, we've got a little friend with us today. Yumi! Come! Yumi! Hello! <laughs> Say hi! How's it going? Say hello everyone, Yumi! We're gonna do a pug montage. <laughs> She's a very excited and very social dog. Yeah, excited, social little little pug. Say hello. Say hello. Look, what's over here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's that? Where's the cat? I'm pretty sure she gets a bit of uh, a cat smell from here, and. Um, she is so excited. She just came in and she's not really stopped being excited all day. She appears to really like people and um, she likes playing with her toys. Um, but she's gradually settling down. She got for a nice long walk, I think, this morning. And uh, yeah, I think, not quite sure how it came to be, but we're, we're just half looking after her. Liz is kind of around and um, doing her, her dog walking and such. And we just happened to have a pug visiting today. Which has been great. Um, makes you want to get a pug. Yeah. So looking after little pugly. See you later. So right now I'm just along the seafront and um, look down onto the beach, and this is what I saw. Someone that seems to be in a mascot. I don't know what it is. A lion, maybe? That's it. The parting ways. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh no, just seeing some very far away pictures. That was just one boy. He's quite a long shot. Still standing there. Settling down a bit, gradually. Settle down. <laughs> she's gone. She's a very, uh, very snorty little mongrel. She's got a little curly pigtail, and uh, yeah, it's quite amusing. I'm gradually calming her down, <laughs> and um, yeah, she's she's great fun. All right, so now that uh, Yumi's a bit more settled down, uh, we might have some heavy pug breathing in the background. But I thought I'd show you something that's arrived today. Um, from I've been putting off for a while, but glasses. Trying to um, figure out some new prescription glasses because these are my old ones. Um, and the trouble is, I don't know what we can see. You, mm, it's very difficult to see on the camera. But basically, the lens came away a bit on the frame. The frame's bent essentially, and um, yeah. So <laughs> but yeah, very interesting. So hopefully we don't get some heavy breathing, otherwise I'll have to re-record this. Um, but hey, let's give it a shot. So I've finally um, gotten around to getting some glasses um, from uh, Glasses Direct. And if you remember, I'll um, put a little referral link for Glasses Direct in the description. Because um, I've always used stuff like Specsavers and... Um, well, I think I've only used spec savers really. Uh, usually go to boots opticians or spec savers and grab glasses from there. And I usually find the the ranges there are quite limiting. I find I have quite a narrow frame. And yeah, the glasses straight website I was actually really impressed with. They've obviously put in the effort to you can take a picture home of yourself at different angles, and then they make it so you can rotate your face with the glasses on 
so you can pretty much try on the glasses without actually physically having them. And then when you've found a few that you like, you do a home trial. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll show you what I got in this home trial. So they send them to you and then you send them back and you can do it as many times until you find ones you like and then you buy some prescription glasses or sunglasses or whatever you want really. Um, and the yeah, little referral thing is quite good. Um, I'm going to try and find someone to refer me because uh, I don't know, but I guess I sort of came across it, but there's probably a few places who could give me a referral code. And um, with that you get, I think, £30 off, maybe there's a percentage, depends what you're buying, um, and you give the person who referred you a £15 Amazon voucher, which is... It's not, it's not, it's not... <laughs> which is quite a generous, um, a generous referral. So, let's take a look. We've got... Okay. This time without the address. <laughs> so, we've got the box. Oh! Hey Yumi, thanks. <laughs> we got the box, and voila! Hey, hey. there are. There's there's little steps. It's quite well done. You're right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I personally like these. This was supposed to be a selection of fairly out there, quite different styles for me. Not something I've really worn before. Plus the Oakleys, which are more similar to what I've got today, which are these. But yeah, let's try some of these on. Okay, so these are the ones I've got today. I'm gonna stare at myself a bit. Get rid of that. Um, yes, yeah, so these these are my current glasses. And actually, now that I've seen some of these, I, I tried to get the narrowest. Cover my mouth. That's clever. I tried to get the narrowest frame I could, um, because I find anything that was slightly too large would look really. It would look like it sticks out on my face. Um, but these are the ones I've got now. Um, I can't really keep them. I can't just swap out the lenses because the frame's bent. Um, they're Osiris glasses. They're alright, but I, I don't think they're really the top quality considering how much I paid for them in store. Um, they were kind of that designer range glasses. Right, so these are the London Retro Euston style glasses. And I was thinking of um, wearing these, I was thinking of getting some prescription sunglasses because you get a free second pair um, with um, Glasses Directs, which a lot of the opticians seem to do. That's a big jump. Hey, I know your treats are up there. You're not having your treats. Yeah. Just found her treats. Cool. And these are another favourite of mine um, from there. Their, I don't know what the actual design's called, but their religion. Um, it's their, I think it was gunmetal um, colour, which seems to have a slightly different side. I don't quite know if it works, but I don't know. But these are quite different for me because they're quite chunkier than the ones I had and I did consider getting these last time because they're quite stereotypical for programmer, Brighton developer, creative scene kind of thing but yeah I, I don't know so these are possibly second favourite out of this lot but these are only four of the ones that I sort of wanted to try. Okay these are <laughs> Yumi! Oh, jeez. Yeah, hello. Say, hey, guys. So, I was thinking of getting these glasses. I was thinking of getting these glasses. No. Well, she's quiet now. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> she's such a little, she's such a little fluff. Oh, do you like me now? Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Got a loopy in the face. <laughs> Trying to hold the camera and fend off being licked in the face at the same time. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay. We've got to calm down. We've got to calm down, don't we? Yeah, a uh, big sigh. Oh. <laughs> it's incredible, incredible little pug. Hey guys, I think I heard something. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Where are the cats? Where's the cat? Is there a cat? 
Yumi, where's the cat? What's that noise? Jeez. Pugs are... Pugs are naturally very photogenic. This entire recording is a complete jumble. Have fun, Hannah. <laughs> okay, all right. So here's the third option. Um, they're also religion. Oh, and these are the Oakleys. And I think the Oakleys are quite a wide frame. I think these were 140 or 145 millimeter. And I'd probably go for something between 130 and 135 millimeters. Uh, I think I prefer, especially the first two, the London Retro and the Religion ones, to these. I think they're, I think they're nicer. They feel more comfortable as well, and all sorts. Um, but yeah, you'll have to let me know. Um, I'd love for some input as to which ones I should possibly choose. Um, I'll pay attention to that input. <laughs> and uh, to be honest, I'm fairly surprised that any of these suited me. I thought they'd all look pretty bizarre. Um, based on they're just quite different styles for me, but um, it's quite cool. Um, yeah, it comes recommended, Glasses Direct, so I, have, I guess I haven't got the glasses and finished it all yet, but I'll, I'll let you know how that goes. Yeah, I think we'll have some more Yumi time. She's, she, she wants more attention. <laughs> See you later. Yumi! Yo, 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 Yumi! Hey, it's your boy Yan and Yumi McRubber. I'm going to play with the pug. Maybe mostly from Coming out tomorrow. What with MC Pug? 
Release party at Pompoco. <laughs> That'd be a cool party. Um, but yeah, yeah, Jan's, Jan's still got his gloves that you might have seen featured in many of the Spain vlogs. Sexy driving gloves. Nice. And a new t-shirt. If anyone in the notices who, what this t-shirt is, then uh, then you're cool. You can't, can't really see it. I'll okay. show you later. Okay. Alright, bye! <laughs>summer fate. We're down in Dorset to see my parents and we've been helping all day. Here's Jan with the sign that he was using and um, yeah, it was a lovely day but we're quite tired now. It's always a long day putting things away everything at the end but it's very nice and it was beautiful weather so. Yeah, it's only a three hour fate so I feel like we spend a lot more time than that putting it together and taking it away again. Yeah. But it was very yeah, good, it's, it's very sweet. It's very nice, it's lovely, it's a proper like, proper English summer fate. It has like coconut shy and chair planes that are like on a handheld crank and stuff and yeah, it's yeah, very so nice. Parents want a week stay. Oh yeah, and my mum and dad want a week stay at a town like right next to their town. <laughs> so yeah, but that's really nice, it's in like a little holiday home so maybe they'll use it for some friends or family or something or go somewhere different I guess. But yeah, it was quite funny. Out of all the prizes they could have won, they won the like one local prize that sort of was for holiday makers. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just headed home now. And I think we're gonna have some food and then have an evening in probably. And then tomorrow we're gonna try and go to a boot fair or something. And then once we've um, been back from that, we're going to have a barbecue with family for my grandma's 90th birthday, which was in July. So yeah, we're gonna do that. So it should be good, and that's about it really. <laughs> so we'll speak to you later. Bye! Bye. Hello, so I'm in Dorset at the moment. Jan headed home uh, on... When did he head in? He headed home on Sunday, it's Tuesday morning today. Um, I haven't vlogged very much, mainly because I forgot the camera battery charger. <laughs> So yeah, that's annoying. Hopefully I've got another one that I've ordered today, but I, forgot, I just had no idea how expensive they were either. We ordered like a um, car one, see how that goes. But the actual, like getting the actual one for the camera, they only seem to sell with the camera. I don't really seem to manufacture it otherwise. So then if you buy it from anyone, it's really expensive because it came with the camera. So that was my fault. So I'm um, sorry you didn't get more footage this weekend. We did have a lovely day on um, Saturday at the Fate. I did film some of that and um, yeah and I did a sort of like photo booth thing um, and it raises money for um, like three local churches and three charities I think um, and I think they did really well so that was good so that's like the little village they, <laughs> very very British sort of has like coconut shy and chair planes like the little like roundabout thing um, lots of games cakes and jam being sold and the plant stand and yeah and mum and dad are sort of helping to organize it and um, running some little stands and yeah so we helped out with that but I'm just sitting in the garden at the moment sorry if it's a bit windy we um, are going to sort the rest of the garage out today because there's a lot of stuff and my parents sort of moved um, a lot of stuff moved with them <laughs> so I'm just sort of doing some organising and bits but it's a bit of a grey day today it's been so nice the last few days and it was beautiful on Saturday oh and I forgot to say on Sunday we had a lovely day as well on Sunday we had lots of family around had like our cousins and auntie and uncle around for my grandma's 90th which was actually in July but we were sort of all all super busy so we all get together on Sunday and had a really lovely barbecue but yeah so um so yeah at the moment it's Tuesday and um yeah we've got lots of bits to take to charity shop and stuff and amazingly one other thing we do have is um people across the road like along the village were um getting rid of a bike uh we're getting rid of two bikes actually and Jan and I really want some second-hand bikes or something so we thought um 
we take them so we need to get them serviced and everything so we'll do that in Brighton but that's quite amazing and they're two pretty good bikes they're both mountain bikes and they were free so <laughs> pay for the service obviously but it's pretty good so that's quite exciting but yeah anyway I better go and start sorting I'll see you later <laughs> my dad waving at the window <laughs> uh, I'll speak to you later bye